What's up everyone? Welcome to Submachine. We are starting a new saga finally. Um, there has been a huge upgrade on the setup. We got a webcam. I'm no longer using my phone to record the game so I can finally be aware of what's happening around the world and text friends while I'm gaming. We got a light. We got a mic. This fucker no longer clicks while I move. I can finally talk with a steady mic in front of me and this is just to plug the audio into my ears which is fucking awesome. On the last episode of the last saga, I ruined the audio in the end while I was monologuing about the experience of the whole game. And it sucked. <laughs> but in a way, it was actually good because it helped me. Like, I had to do a voiceover and I ended up summarizing what I wanted to say. So it was actually an, a, a better change. Uh, but yeah, we also got some t-shirts. Now I'm going to be switching between this orange and blue one. So it's going to match the, the look of the channel, which I think is going to be such a fun touch. Uh, we got a new TV as well, like the whole thing has been upgraded. I really, w I really like that I'm starting this thing that I've dreamed for so long and I want to pursue it and actually make it into a real thing. So I'm not, hold not holding back, I really wanted to improve the quality, I wanted to make the recording process smoother. So I do hope that you appreciate the changes in the quality of the camera especially, in the quality of the mic. And yeah, now we're starting Submachine, it's a point and click game, it's an escape room type of game. I've, I grew up with this. I played this throughout all my teens. I remember playing them and waiting for the next one to come out. The creator actually remastered it and released it in Steam last October, which is awesome. It's a saga of 10 games and he put them all into one and released it. And yeah, I'm really excited to play it. It's just a chill layback game, which is awesome after the fucking Blood Level 4 run in Bloodborne. And yeah, after this we'll go back to some hard games, but for now let's just... Lay back, grab your waters, grab your snacks, grab your cats, whatever you want. And let's just get into it, man. Let's just enjoy ourselves and have some really nice chill time here. I'm already enjoying the whole look of this menu. I thought I would jump right into the first game, but I'm actually curious by the fact that it immediately opens in this sort of hub menu. It already shows that you have the option to go to one level. So I suppose all the 10 games are going to be accessible from here, which is interesting. But yeah, let's just... Let's get into it, dude. Oh, the audio. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh this looks... Oh. Yeah, because the thing is, this is not just a remaster. That fucker, that massive genius, added stuff to the game. Now it's not just 10 separate games. I think he actually added stuff to the game so that the games flow into each other and he actually added things to make the games make more sense instead of just jumping into action now you have this area like before you would start in a basement and you don't know where that basement was but now there's this new area what is going on dude oh i'm so excited i did not expect the beginning to be different Ooh. And I love having this updated UI on this game. It's the same UI as another game of his that I've played. Ooh. Matt, you motherfucker. I love you, dude. I'm so excited about this. This is so interesting. This is such a different experience. The first game started so different back then. Man, I'm so excited. I haven't played this in so long. Come on. What are you... What new surprises have you waiting for me, Matt? And I really like the integration of the tutorial. This is nice. It's not forcing me to do shit. It's actually happening. Like the pop-ups show up as needed. How am I getting to the basement? That's my question. Huh. This is really interesting because the way this game played before you would just start inside this random basement. 
and now it's actually part of the outer world that you know afterwards. Matt, I love you so much. It's those little touches. Oh, I really like, like the game has just started and I'm already loving so much every single thing that I'm seeing. So very much. Oh, actually, let me, let me tweak some things the wrong way. Oh, I have no idea what I opened, but okay. I follow this so it goes to the right here but there's no continuation um I don't want to call out anyone I don't know if this is on purpose but it got me confused okay yeah because here they continue sort of I guess they don't have to strictly go directly to each other they could just go through the wall okay. oh i can zoom like this oh i like this okay yeah, and I remember, like, I followed the Discord of this game while Matt was developing it, while he was remastering the whole thing. Always, but he didn't publish spoilers or anything, but he did share that at, at some point that he was gonna redo these drawings. Which is fun. Okay. One, two. Was there a code on the other one as well? Here. One, two, three, seven. Okay, I didn't see it. It's a coin. I really like the zoom feature. I really appreciate that one. I like it a lot. It allows you to see the little details. Especially in a hand-drawn game. It's very appreciated. Um, I don't want to feel haunted while playing this, thank you. The ambient music is already dark enough. Please turn off. Is this... Wait, stop. Is this plasma? Plasma or karma or whatever the name of the energy is. Huh. And I believe there used to be three bells here. Or maybe in some other room in this area. Okay, I need the third plug for this. Okay. Interesting. Um... What else have I not seen? Oh. Last summer, I was finally able to go on on a go on a pilgrimage. Okay, wait. Last summer, I was finally able to go on a pilgrimage to the waterfall of Kent. This journey was very positive. However, few people were able to recognize that. While I did lose my left arm, I gained access to a third arm. The invisible one. Since then, I started to learn how to use my karma arm, and soon my skills were those of a master. It wasn't a surprise to me when people started turning their backs on me. I was considered a peril to our society, a danger to the structure itself. I can't explain why that simply... I can't explain why that's simply not true. I know mightier minds than mine pondered upon the holy concepts of karmic energy used. I know that. But those people haven't reached the state I found myself in. How could I explain? Mm. Oh, and I could zoom as well. This is interesting. This is new. Okay. 
Uh, that note is new. I thought it would be the same note as before. Okay, there's a lot of changes to the game. Okay. And I, I expected like some sound trigger when I pulled the third lever. Okay, this is a combination. Right. Okay. Ah, here's the bells, and it's four of them. Okay. Shit. I don't know why there was a bit of lagging there. Mere luck. I was not thinking at all. Okay, so let me see. I have no idea what the pipes connect to. Is it the leaking pipe? Oh. I can only look at it, I cannot interact with it. Okay. Thought I was gonna use it. Is this what I gotta insert on the on the other thing? Hmm. Let's see. Back to the beginning. Oh, I see. Oh! I, is it... Okay, I see. Maybe I pulled it, all the triggers and now it revealed this. So, how do I describe this? Can I take notes? I can't. I don't want to have to take a, phone with my, a photo with my phone. I could take a screenshot, though. But it's sort of a closed F, a 2, and a half tree. Interesting. Yes. Up tree. Why did you have more triggers though? There's six buttons. I thought maybe there would be two combinations. Okay. Um I know where this valve goes to. I'm just kind of losing track of the like the the mapping of the whole place. So this is the leaking pipe. Ooh, now it has karma energy on these cables. Okay. It's not just electricity. Interesting. Uh, was this connected to the levers? I I'm confused. What triggered what? There we go. Oh, this leather was closed before. I see. Um. What is this? The fuck is this? Huh. Ah oh, no, I didn't use it. Sorry. I feel like I'm missing something. Because this used to be the end of this game, of this first chapter. I'm afraid of putting these things in and ending the game before finding out the other things. Nah, I'm not going yet. Give me a sec. Bear with me for a second. 
up here. Oh, everything is green now. What the hell? Everything is green. It's a fucking secret. I knew it. Micro stabilizer. This used to be a secret. Like the games had secrets hidden in them and they were these red spheres. Micro stabilizer is the name of it now. But I knew this had to be a secret. There's no reason for this to be here and then to just leave the game without interacting with it. Okay. I suppose I'm gonna come back here. Since we can jump to the previous games from the main menu, I suppose it will keep my progress and maybe I'll be able to interact with it later once I have the right clues. This is very interesting. I'm, I'm very intrigued about these changes. I didn't expect the changes to be to this level right in the first game. I thought the first game would just be tweaked around aesthetic-wise. Interesting. Okay, let's just go then. Chapter 1 completed. Alright. How is the transition now? I like that it flows from one to the other, so even this is different. Oh, that's interesting. I'm loving this so far. Okay. I wonder if there will still be secrets hidden the same way they were before. Because they used to be hidden in corners, you would have to look for the red spheres. This one you found it through a puzzle, so if that's how all the secrets are found, if they are still secrets then I, it might actually be more fun than to look for very tiny things around the, the game. I see. This is the second game. Okay, okay so I have nowhere else to go. I really gotta go that way. Okay, but it's interesting. I, I like this a lot. There's an actual flow between the games. You don't just get, come out of an arcade machine, you find the arcade machine now. It makes more sense, I like that. Chapter 2, the lighthouse. There we go. Can I use the coin here? Please tell- Oh, I lost my items! Okay, interesting. I thought I would keep the items between one game and the other. Okay. Chapters are not um, sharing the inventory. Energy crystalline shard. Hmm. I need to put the bug here. I Now, for the real question... Oh, wait. Where is the ladder? <laughs> yeah, there used to be a ladder. You... I believe this unlocks a ladder here. Unless Matt changed it as well. Um, but what gets me most curious right now is... Is there still a secret? There is. Microstabilizer. So it is a secret. What for though? Should I have used the microstabilizer in the previous game somewhere? Because I didn't understand where. Or do you just collect them? And why are they called microstabilizers? What am I gonna stabilize? This is so interesting because before the secrets were just an item you'd collect, and there were a few games that had like a nub area where you'd insert the secrets to unlock, like, I don't know, uh, the creators entries like to find some logs about the development of the game or something some fun easter eggs 
another called micro stabilizers so is there a structure that i'm going to insert them to are they part of the gameplay that's very interesting what is awaiting me okay the ladder still exists let me just turn this bad boy on the original soundtrack from Submachine 2. Gotta love it. Okay, I'm interested in this. I am very curious about this one. So basically, this was one of the most messed up puzzles in the game to, to me personally. Because out of the blue, the game required you to know a math formula that not everyone knows by heart at least. And if you didn't study anything related to science, you will not know it at all. I thought Matt was gonna switch this puzzle to something else, but he actually kept the same clues. So does this mean that he gave us a hint in the game as to what we have to do with those clues? Or is it just a fun easter egg reminding us of the puzzle that was there before? I am very curious about this right now. Because I really thought the puzzle would be gone. And switch to something else. Power relay. Oh. I need a key, okay. Into the sewers. Oh shit. What is this? What is this? Thing? Oh, there's overgrowth here. Oh, I like this touch. I did not like. You know when when someone. When you hear that a game is going to be remastered and you think, oh yeah, the fidelity of the game is going to improve, it's going to look sharper. No, this fucker decided to add details where they weren't before. Where they didn't exist before. It's so cool. Bathroom. Stabilizer. Matt, what am I gonna do with these fuckers, Matt? Tell me. Do I have to go back to the main menu and use them? I wanna know. Welcome. Welcome to the world's famous Kent Lighthouse. This structure was erected in 1957 by Sir Henry O'Toole. It is said that this lighthouse was built on the ruins of a medieval prison dungeon. This is one of the sightseeing attractions as you can as you can go visit the archaeological digouts in the lower sections of the lighthouse, just below the basement level. Ask your tour guide for this feature. This lighthouse was amazingly never destroyed through Though several wars have been fought over the lands of Kent. This allows you to enjoy the original wall structure of this complex. Thank you for coming, hope to see you again. Interesting. I believe this lore is all new. I don't remember hearing about a Kent before. Interesting. Some things have changed. There's still sand coming into the place. That's not new. 
Oh, I know. I've seen the changes that are inside this place. Can't wait to go there. Um, but yeah, let's just check this out. Today the strangest thing has happened. When I woke up, there was a black cat in the lighthouse. I clearly remembered locking all the doors and windows before going to bed. Yet, there he was. I have no idea how he could get inside. That bothers me. I named him Einstein, since he's apparently capable of breaking the time and space barrier as he wishes. As all cats do, probably, but this particular one did that in front of my very eyes. Well, not exactly, but it's undeniable that he is here now. Just wondering if that has anything to do with my ability to build cross-dimensional portals with my karma arm. Guess we'll see in time. Interesting. Well, that had no clue about the puzzle. I actually thought I was gonna find a clue related to the math formula here. There's no... Micro stabilizer either. Very interesting. So is that C equals to just an homage to the original game? E. There's no what the. There is no what the. It does! Okay, Matt, I, I think you did great. I think this is such a fun way and a fun touch to add the puzzle. Instead of replacing the puzzle, he actually kept it, but made it more manageable. Way more easier to... way easier to, to solve. He fucking drew Einstein. Wow, this guy. I really thought it was just gonna be a page on the library. I did not expect the fucking drawing of Einstein. That's so cool. Dig out key. Dig out. Okay, I see. Okay. This used to be so empty. Another micro stabilizer. I love this. This used to be just an empty hole. Looks really fun now. On the first game, I found something like this, but it had the circle on the next spot. So it was like in the fifth spot, now it's on the fourth. I wonder what I have to do with these informations. This looks like a place for a portal. Which would actually be really cool. I really like the, the details in this area. This has this image of a letter, so I believe when I put a switch inside this thing and turn it on, that letter that I just saw on the other side will turn vertically. And I like how smooth everything is. The animations are really just like butter. It's awesome. They flow really well. From the inventory to the main game, it's awesome. Second floor, okay, I see. This is locked. This overgrowth is so weird. It's like alien-like. The fact that it glows in two different colors, especially. Oh. oh shit, this type of puzzle, okay. I solved it so quickly, I was not- I- I- okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just lucky on those things. Or maybe I just solved so many of these puzzles back in the day that I'd actually just happened unconsciously. Shit. Oh. 
I should be more careful with the way that I'm just switching between rooms because I'm not keeping track of the way that I go back and all that. My dear Elizabeth, even in my strangest dreams, I never thought I would be able to create cross-dimensional pathways leading to new and explored places. My new experiment took me right below the lighthouse, straight into the buried remains of the original construction. You can call me a discoverer from now on. Mind you, I only used a crystalline chart I found lately as a source of energy. Imagine where we could possibly go using the lighthouse itself and its full power of light. I'm considering moving to another place in the next 32 days. Will you take care of Einstein for me? Yours, Morta. Huh. These switches are also very interesting. This did not exist on the previous games and it gives it such a feel of being inside some some facility that I shouldn't be in. It gives the feel that I'm being watched, that I'm like, no matter how weird the place that I am in looks like, it feels like people know that I'm there. It's like some sort of reason that I can't escape or something. Oh. There we go. Switch that I needed. You know what? I'm gonna draw. I, I feel like I've already explored everything in the sewers, but I want to draw them. So that I'm sure that I didn't miss anything. This is... The drawing that I did. I hope you can see it. Wait. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Okay. Back in the real world. So now I got the switch. Let's turn the ladder vertically. Okay. Why are you like this? So many drawers and nothing? So I'm trying to live my life peacefully, not disturbing anyone. The job of a lighthouse keeper seemed to be the right fit for me. I wanted to spend the rest of my life in that lighthouse. After five months, in my isolation came to an end when they decided to bury the building. My worst fear ever is to be buried alive. But what about being buried alive inside of a building? I didn't want to take any chances. I'm leaving today. For those who follow me, I'm sorry. Sincerely, Moore. Damn boy. Damn boy. -o. What is this? Moving me. Okay. That's for the projector. Still nothing. Sucks. Give me items, please. Okay, so this is like sort of a square, exactly. This looked sort of like a three, don't judge me. I saw a three in this. And this was a one. I know this is right. There we go. Big brain time. Gotta work my memory, dude. Gotta exercise my memory. Einstein is gone. Again. I'm fed up with this. Note to self, stop worrying about that damn cat. Four microstabilizers. Coming right away. Coming right up. There you go. So many. It's interesting that these secrets are still here, but their name is different. I'm so intrigued about this too. I thought there was more to explore. Is this it? Oh, is it? Yeah. Above the ladder, maybe? Oh, and now that I... Now I've noticed. On the first game... Oh, Matt switched this. 
On the first game, there used to be a puzzle with the power cables that you had to put a spoon on the power cables and turn the switch on so that it would shortcut and open something. And now it's gone. And I will. And here we used to put a fork, and I suppose it's gone as well. Well, that's a pity. Those puzzles were fun. I know. I I totally get the change because. It was like a bizarre solution to the puzzle, but they kind of, they were fun as well. They have to be close to the center. Oh, it turns three at once. It's turned just one. It used to be worse. This puzzle used to be a bit harder. I appreciate the, the tweaks. What this? E. E. What about the M? I don't know what the M stands for. E equals MC squared. Value of ME790. Okay. <laughs> I was just asking myself this. Another micro stabilizer. 790. MC square. So here it is. I did draw a portal in here. However, it's not stable. I'm going to use it even though I can't call I can tell where it all end up. Feel free to use this door wherever you, whenever you feel like. Just let me, let me, let me take a sip of water. Okay. So here it is. I did draw a portal in here. However, it's not stable. I'm going to use it even though I can't tell where I'll end up. Feel free to use this door whenever you like. Just remember that the number of places it can take you is beyond the wildest imagination. Or I'm just trying to keep you from exiting the light out. Either way, decide for yourself if you're going to use it or not. Um. There's two lights on. The fuse is so small compared to the opening. Looks like a place for a card or something. So this puzzle still exists, okay. It's no longer a video, this used to be a video, but... I thought Matt was gonna switch this puzzle for something else, because taking a, a ID card out of a, a projector is so wild. But again, that's the magic of this game. Things don't make sense. So I'm missing one. Which one am I missing? I believe C is 10, right? Yeah. 
seeds. Uh, actually, we know seeds is two. Sorry. Um, so 790 times four. It should be... Okay, I'm gonna do the math by head. It's 3200 minus 400. So it's 2800. 2800. Is that it? That's not it. What am I doing wrong? Let me do this. Why did I mess the math so much? Ah, I took 400 instead of 40. That's what I did wrong. I did 3200 minus 400 instead of minus 40. That's the problem. Stupid. There we go. Unfortunately. Oh. Oh, and it brought me directly to the loop. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. I like the transition. I like it a lot. Actually, I wanna... I wanna check something. Ooh. Optional tomb, the ruin. There's an optional area on the menu already. First game, second game, third game, the ruin. What is this? Ah, it's one of the extra games, I see. Hmm. I mean, I can I can do this as well. But I, I kind of want to do the main story first. Because I like having the flow between the games. So, I think I'll go back. I was just hoping that there would be some hub that I could use the micro-stabilizers. Because it's the thing that is... Intriguing me the most right now. Hmm... And you can start new or continue. Okay. Huh. Coordinates, of course. Yeah. Just open because I got away. He said to mark this paper every time I pass it. So I don't get to keep this paper. The rooms reset every other cycle. The compass will reappear soon. If only I knew which cycle I'm in. Never stroll away from the center. Never. I had a companion once. She said she wanted to check how far these rooms go. I've never seen her again. I've been here before, I remember these damn looping rooms. If only I could remember what that was about, all about. Some machine unlocking further connections, a compass showing me coordinates. Yes, it was all about the coordinates, but there was no compass in here now. There is no compass in here now. What to do? I don't know either, man. I don't know either. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be that guy. And I'm gonna check. I don't know if I missed anything because I... Oh shit. Ah, I see, okay. The whole thing about this first area was to just... Go around and be lucky to find a button. Okay. I was afraid I had missed some note or something. Okay. Then we're good. Next. So now I got some shit around here. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I gotta insert the right coordinates. What am I supposed to do here? It disappears. I thought I had to plug them the right thing, but... Turn blue at some point. Oh, I see. I gotta go to 3-3. Three, three. Is that it? Yeah, okay. So now 4-1. Okay. Uh, I see. Not the up. Four, one, three. What is this? So this increases and decreases the first. This is lower one. Okay, so the three is fixed. What about this one? So this nine is fixed. So it's nine, three, four. Nine three four three. Okay. Ah, is this like the the order? Do I have to press them by order? Second, fifth, first, second, third. You can't fool me. I know what you want. You want to you want me to translate the numbers into letters. I get it. Okay. Where else? are spread. Let me go down first. So the fifth is a reverse Y. Do I want to try to remember this by head? Do I? Am I trusting my memory that much? I don't think so, but I'll give it a try. Actually, I'll... You know what? I'll take a photo either way, but I'll try to remember by head. Okay. So fifth is a reverse Y. Third is a swiggly E. Second is a U. First one is a U as well. So it's U, U, swiggly E, swiggly E. Reverse Y. And U again. Swiggle, swiggle. Reverse Y. 
in U or E. What did I miss? Oh, okay. I did get it right. Okay. My memory is working, but I was also lucky that it was repeated symbols. I don't know if these are set symbols or if it just randomly selects a different combination. There seems to be something there. Oh, shit. Is it? Oh. Hello. Down up. Down up, up down. Ah, huh. uh, oh, I see. Okay. Um, down, up, down, up, up. Genus. Egg. Why is there an egg? Here. Oh, I see. What did I say? Genius. So what? Yeah. Four one four seven seven one. This three is locked. Uh, okay, so it's a three here. This is the least interesting game for me, I'm gonna be honest. It is fun, the concept is fun, and it matches the concept of the world of this game. But I'm not a big fan of this. It says there's shit in these places, but I... Oh, I see. One thing that I appreciate about this is there's nothing to search for. You can just solve the puzzles. If there are easter eggs, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna search for them. Because this is an endless loop. Have you noticed that with each puzzle solved, you move deeper into the ground? That doesn't seem like a good escape plan. The machine itself is a giant trap. In order to escape, in order to escape it, you must stop solving puzzles or you'll just remain in the loop perpetually. The loop is timeless spaceless without beginning nor end it's the worst place you could have found yourself in after teleporting from the lighthouse here's what you want to do don't open the door in zero zero instead look look for a green leaf and bring it to the stabilizer in minus 12 9. this should disconnect you from the loop in which case you should arrive at the lab or somewhere nearby good luck more Okay, and do not solve this loop. Okay. What if I do, though? 
Like, this looks like such a harder loop compared to the other ones. And I think it is supposed to just throw you off and make you just want to search for the leaf and put it where they asked you to. But what if there is an easter egg if you actually solve it? I'm intrigued by it. It would be such an achievement to, to understand this messed up puzzle. I guess I'll search it later. Let me... I'm gonna... I'm just gonna search if I can solve it. Not the solution itself. Okay. I think there's something onto this puzzle. But I cannot figure it out. Okay. Let's just... These animations, dude! These animations are so fun. Matt, you really did- you really outdid yourself. This is awesome. I'm loving this so much. I have no idea how I'm gonna edit this, because it's so- It's such a chill game, so simple, so laid back. There's not much to- To laugh around, there's not much to talk about. I might just keep the parts of me finding items and solving the puzzles, but yeah, it's gonna be such a, a chill saga. It's mostly just a thing for myself, because I just wanna lay back and enjoy this game before I get back into the hardcore stuff. Um, so, a fun little thing, I was just about to quit the game, and I came back to the main menu, main menu just to check if there was anything new. I have access to the next chapter, chapter 4, but I also got this, Break the Loop. When I opened it, it brought me to this screen. Interesting. So I can access every level of the loop from here, instead of having to repeat the whole thing. And I can come back straight to this place. And the code actually changed. The code actually changed. Why is it called break the loop and give me access to all the levels? Is it just in case you wanna... Because I, I don't imagine someone wanting to repeat a specific part of the loop. If you want to repeat it, probably you'd want to repeat the whole chapter. So is there something about this level? And why doesn't it just give access to this level specifically? That's also what's intriguing me. Why does it give access to every level? Is it just so that you kind of dodge the idea that maybe there's something about this one? The letters are the same, but the numbers change, so... What the hell? Oof. That's gonna be a headache for another day, dude. I don't have the brain power for that right now. I'm really enjoying this so far. It's such a laid-back game, and... I really like the improvements that I'm seeing, the whole menu, the transition between games, the additions of details and puzzles and whatnot. I'm really liking this. I can't wait to get to the actual bigger games, the ones that made the, this series huge. But yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Take care.